Once again, the major news around the world has been driven by events happening in the European zone. Yesterday we saw Moody's downgrade the sovereign credit rating of at least six European nations. This included Spain, Italy and Portugal, which have been in the headlines quite a bit recently. Following on from this announcement, softer sales data out of the US really did see markets slump into the afternoon of the trading session. We saw the Dow Jones down around 40 points yesterday and European shares were down around 0.1 of a percent. However, keeping the market reasonably subdued was the fact that for once Greece kept out of the headlines. Many traders have been concerned with Greece despite the fact that they have passed the austerity measures that should enable them to get a second bailout package agreed by Eurozone leaders. Many people are still sceptical. The New Zealand dollar followed the trend of overseas market and edged down slightly overnight. Locally yesterday we had two important pieces of information out that controlled market sentiment here. We have the January food price index and also home sales data. The January food price index was shown to be only up slightly on year ago levels. However, this was largely due to an increase in fruit and vegetable prices, that which increased over 3% in the last year alone. However, keeping the market reasonably subdued was meat prices, which had been heavily discounted, particularly in supermarkets. This meant that the index only edged up 1% over year ago levels. Coming out today, we have retail sales data, which will be interesting to note. This is due to the fact that this data comes from both after the Rugby World Cup and also during a period where weather conditions were absolutely appalling for all those shoppers out there. Later on this week, Alan Bullard will be giving a speech titled, Are We Better Off Than We Think? This will be quite interesting as it is into the last period of the Governor's role at the Reserve Bank of New Zealand and no doubt he will take a glass half full approach to our economy.